we are making our way to the very, very last destination, which is a very, very beautiful time capsule mansion. And as you can tell, it's right over there. So we're making a way through the field right now. Thanks for the bikes. All right, okay, that I was- I already smelled the uh, abandoned well, smell. Well, um, that was only one thing, at least. Um, the motor driver. No, the car that passed after the motor driver. Yeah. She was looking like, insanely looking. She was like, yeah, well, I think we just gotta risk it, man. We're not doing anything wrong. No. We are not sure if it is open, but we never force a way in, so we're not doing anything criminal, just documenting something historical, which is forgotten. And we are giving it a stage. Man, there is not even an urbex highway. We have to make our own one. All right. I love these things. Well, I don't really like that uh, part way, but I think we have no other choice. Well, you can tell that somebody tried to make a part way over here. But this is electricity. Nobody hear that car? No. Okay. Yeah. Should be fine then. Careful, homie. Okay, it's gonna be funny because I have the big backpack now. Yeah, indeed. Perfect. Yeah, I made it. Oh, we can already see the house. Oh, a car stopped. A car stopped. That's no good, man. No. Damn. Maybe that entrance was a little too obvious. Well. Everything better than literally walking through the front. So I think we are nearing the front of the building. Raymond's gonna check out what the car is doing, which I find a very good idea. And I think I'm just gonna check if there is an actual way in. Damn, son. Yeah, we gotta go over here. Let's just don't hope that the car stops right over there. I feel cobwebs. Oh man, what you think? Walking in the brambles. Yes. What a jungle. Damn. The only thing I'm worried about is getting caught at the last spot. Yeah, me too. Would be so sad. So guys, if you, your prayers are with us of not getting caught, please hit the like button and hopefully it will help. was the main road. So there we're standing in front of the property and we can see in which year it was built and it's dated from 1880. And it's one of the oldest properties in France we've seen being a mansion. And actually it's saying Mandale Mese Maquer. Yeah, that must have been the yeah. owner's name. Indeed. Wow. Imagine sitting in this garden. Oh my gosh. And nowadays the property is just neglected. It's actually so, so sad. But we have not seen the inside yet. So 
so that's what we're gonna do first. Check out, because the door is widely open for us. Well, I can guarantee you, the inside is amazing. So, enjoy the video. So, we are inside, and this property, it's gonna be insane, yeah. for real. It's really beautiful inside of here. Absolutely. I mean, you can see in the mirror where we're standing right now, and let's start off pointing out all the details inside. Yeah, let's go. Putting on my light, and let's start and film this incredible time capsule mansion. The candle holders. <laughs> and actually, you can still see that it has been burnt once. I find it strange how the mirror doesn't have many mold on it. No. Because normally they are completely covered in white mold. All right, this is pretty, pretty strange. Look on top. The maker of this house actually had a pretty Dutch name, in my opinion. Yeah? Yeah, that's because in this part of France they actually talk Flemish. Yeah. And actually, you are right, the owner was Flemish, he was from Belgium origin. Okay, we already found the first clue. Indeed, indeed. And actually the names are also on there, but you shouldn't show it completely. I can tell you. Only the first names. Um, Monique and Dominique. Okay, so Dom Dominic. Dominic and was Monique. The man, and Monique was the woman. And those are actually, Monique is a typical Bel Belgian name. Indeed, indeed. And Dominic also could be indeed, yeah. Well, then let's continue. I'm pretty excited actually. It is also has to do something with Dutch and Belgium. Before de Bacus. Do you know what is this exactly? Um, I really don't know, but I think it might also be in Belgium, like a church or something. Indeed. I really love the light blue colors of this building cabinet. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Everything is left behind. Some plates. What's inside of this? Oh, th those were just some mugs and everything. Yeah. So I think where we are right now would have been the dining area. Have a look over here. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a lot of these ones when I was still a child. Indeed, you used to trade them. Yeah, in school. <laughs> we trade them all the time. It was <laughs> big business. Well, I'm gonna close this up again. And then we have a beautiful, beautiful fireplace over here. My. Freaking gosh. Man, this fireplace is unbelievable. It's completely made out of marble. There is also a very typical Belgium stove. Yes, indeed. Because these Belgium stoves, they also had like a furnace on top. And this one, have you seen the design, Raymond? It's very, it's very so, unique. so detailed. I mean. Wow, what a gem. Indeed, this is, uh, damn, this is some decaying house in first sight, but. A beautiful piece uh, from the outside. The property is beautiful, but you would definitely not think it's that untouched and everything is left behind. And the inside. I think that's what you were trying to tell, right? Indeed, that was what I was about to say. Look at these tiles. They must have been from a farmer's family in Belgium or something, don't you think? Yeah. I think actually the story underlying this property, it will tell you thousands and thousands of stories. Indeed, indeed. But we are figuring out already. I mean, this is only the first corner we've seen. Over there on top, you have the plates. Wow, so very beautiful. Really beautiful. And also the clock. The clock is very French. Yeah. And then, let's see what is inside of here. Okay, some tool storage. Falling you would actually parts. not expect... This to be in the kitchen. Exactly. Well, kitchen, dining room. You know, Raymond, this is one of these houses which would have been passed on from generation to generation until the very last family member, sadly enough... Passed just, away. Yeah, passed away. And yeah. ever since, 
there is no one to follow up and the mansion is left neglected. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, this is a sad story again. I mean, all the small artifacts that are inside, they give so, let's say, such mixed feelings. Such a bummer, everything is left. Oh, and over here we find the first picture. And I guess this was the last owner. Yeah, I think so too. Mr. Dominic. Mr. Dominic, the Flemish man owning the historical property from 1880. So actually on top of the cabinet, there were some fake plans and, whoa, what is this? Hmm. Oh, that used to be a crucifix, but like a statue one. Indeed, but what do, what do the bones do over there? You see them over here? The bones? Yeah. Oh, that's very strange. Yeah, indeed, it's pretty what's airy. also strange is that the cross, like, you know the other upright part? It's gone. Yeah, it's not present anymore. Where? Had it gone and why are there bones on a crucifix? I hope this has nothing to do with satanic rituals or I don't know. Indeed. But I, I don't think so, to be honest. No, me neither. I don't hope so at least. <laughs> and by the way, we forgot to point out the details. Yeah. I was about to say it. Damn. So Pretty gorgeous. Cool. What is this actually? It's like a lion? Yeah, it looks like huh? a lion or Definitely full feeded animal. Maybe even an aggressive dog, but I guess it's a lion. Yeah, me too. Look over here. The china pot, and then actually on top is something <laughs> pretty uncommon. It's actually a beetle, not a spider. Okay. Very, very funny actually. But why and what is it doing here? Was it like an ornament? <laughs> I don't know. Why does it have so many legs? Yeah. I mean, it definitely looks like a beetle. But well, let's continue on. Let's go over here. Yeah, you can tell that this was the kitchen. Wow. Okay. Okay. Man, there is, it's quite a messy kitchen, don't you think? Indeed. Wait a second. Oh, no. It looks like that lamp is glowing. Oh yeah, but it's because the sunlight is beautifully falling through the window. Well, trying to make my way through. Yeah, it's pretty tight and there is stuff all over the place. Oh, I smell a lot of spices here and now it actually makes sense. Have a look. Even through the mask. Yeah, all those spices are where in the shelves and a lot of food products too unbelievable to be honest i don't think this place has been abandoned for a very very long time no me neither but at least around seven years maybe that's my rough estimation oh you see the light blinking over there bro oh yeah what so <gasps> I think electricity is also still working in this place. Well, that's pretty strange, man. It's very uncommon in France. But by the way, it's showing, well, it's not correct anymore. Almost correct. Yeah, but not completely accurate indeed. Man. It's actually like a mansion, but some of the interior is definitely like a traditional Belgian farm, but then renovated, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, have a look at this picture over here. Damn. This definitely looks like a castle. Yes. A castle kitchen. All the pans. Well, also made my way and... Well, if I saw that thing blinking, then I'm really curious. If the light is still working. Nope. No. Okay. But maybe it's because of the light bulb. Yes, indeed. And by the way, now I'm actually pointing to the ceiling. Have a look at the ceiling, man. Over filled with cobwebs. Yeah, but also very beautiful pattern with all these wooden planks and bars. Actually, pretty farm style, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have a look. This is just where they would do their dishes and the last dishes are still left. And hope they would dry one day and eternity will take them over. Indeed. 
Oh, should there be still be water? No way! <laughs> oh yeah, there is still water running. No way! It might be groundwater though. Yeah, I guess. I guess, I guess. But yeah, over here, you can see. I think if I pull the switch, then stuff will happen, but... Yeah, let's... Don't try do it. it. We don't want to do any harm to the property, of course, but... This location is actually already a very, very big surprise. Yes, indeed. I mean... Water running, electricity is still transmitting, and then if you look at the window over here... Man, so dirty. Like spiders found their second home, I guess. Definitely, definitely. So I think this marble table over here would have been another dining table in their kitchen. What's this over here? Oh, I think that was a very old fashioned coffee grinder. <laughs> so they would just meal all the coffee beans inside. But this one is so old fashioned. Like for real. Oh. And then actually on the wall. All the paintings again. Yeah. Wow. Maybe this was the town back in his days. I'm not completely sure of course, but definitely looks like it could have been. And the balls do over here. Even more cabinets. They're still all completely stuffed by the way. Everything is left. Over here are some cleaning products too. And over there is actually the power and electricity buttons. Oh, the empty clock over here on the ground. It's actually such a waste that it's just laying on the ground over here. Yeah. And nobody is caring about it anymore. I mean, if you also, by the way, look through the door right over there. I don't know if you can walk up there, but you can see that stuff is tearing apart and falling apart. So sad. Some rooms are yeah. literally left in a pristine condition. And but some, some rooms them. are very, very decayed. Yeah. Well, it's decay, not trash. So that's what makes it beautiful, actually. So actually we forgot to point out this rocking chair over here. And actually the first time we found it, we called it a wiggling chair. Yeah. <laughs> Many people still remember it, but wow, this one is actually very beautiful. Completely made out of wood. And Raymond is just chilling in it right now. Indeed, indeed. And yeah, it's still uh, pretty good. I don't feel like I'm going to fall through it any moment, so. You give a... Uh, Comfortable uh, impression, man. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on. Yes. And right over here was yeah another cabinet, I would say. Yeah, wooden cabinet, exactly. What's that actually over there on the ground? Is it like a server or? Hmm, I think once was a heater. Okay. Yeah, it was a heater. Anyways, there is pretty old school television. Some files. Those were, this was actually a cigar box. Oh See? yeah, Havana. Oh, huh? No, there were domino In it. bricks inside. <laughs> I didn't expect that, man. No, no. Domino bricks. Why? And then actually on top, bullets. No way. Yeah, some yes. shells. 
We Don't might care. find a gun inside because the place is very, very untouched. Yeah. And unexplored too. That would be a very, very cool surprise actually. Oh, this picture looks very, very recent. Mm -hmm. You see the two children playing in a tree. Yeah. So actually, we were right. This place is not abandoned for a very, very long time. No, you can tell by some of the things that are left. What's that? There's an old man drinking a glass of water, I guess. I think it might be a famous a sketch. Well, I guess it's a sol uh, soldier. Don't you see it? Because of the head. Okay. All and right. he's wearing a bandage around his head. Yeah, that, that's, you could be right. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely because this property was dated from pre-World War II. Yeah, so definitely could be true. Well, then follow us to the next room because this one, this is pretty amazing. Wow, you're actually standing in the center right now, Raymond, but have a look at the cemetery. The cemetery in this room is absolutely beautiful. And then these grand portraits on the wall. My gosh. What a unique place. It's actually your friend's tripod, so don't mind about that. But let's start off over here. Man, the size of this portrait is unbelievable. Yes. This I is mean, ridiculous. What do you think it actually was? It looks like the, a pretty, pretty huge mountain. Yeah. I see waterfalls, I see mountains. And then one really, really big one. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. This must have been one of the family ancestors. A woman, and actually the cover of this portrait is also very, very beautiful. Man, man, I don't know where to start. Well, I'm literally looking everywhere in the room. Let's start on the stable because this is really cool. It's an album from 1900. Damn. The year 1900. So this album is 120 years old. The 4th of June 1900. Well, I think the things inside were written about that time, but it was manufactured after 1900. Hmm. Could be in case indeed. Yeah, because of the colored pages. Yeah. Well, still, it's pretty beautiful. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. <laughs> and actually, also on the table, a game of checkers. <laughs> and what's this book, actually? It's like a Bible? Mm, no, it isn't. There are pictures inside. Oh, I think all of these people inside have to do something with the family. You Indeed. see? Yeah. All the different family ancestors in one book. Wow, yeah, that's, that's just beautiful. I think the family definitely was from a noble origin. Well, and then actually look at the cover of the book. That is even way more special. Man, this book should not be left. I mean, this is literally a secret book full of the family ancestors dated from centuries and centuries ago. Indeed. And literally, not a single one was forgotten and they all are inside of this book. Unbelievable. Well, and inside of this room, talking about the family ancestors. Have a look, they're on the wall right over there. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, that painting over there, it immediately takes your eye when you walk inside. Oh, And that's the coolest painting I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a nun and she is very, very grumpy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna zoom in on her face. At least she looks grumpy. Maybe that was not the purpose, but my gosh. This is so detailed, it shouldn't be here. Exactly, Damn. man, it, this should be recovered. <laughs> wow. I mean, the white parts are just perfectly white, still. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Such in a good condition, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, and then over here, a bookshelf and even more portraits on the wall of other family ancestors. Man, they must have been of noble origin. Definitely. No doubts about that. If you own such a stately property like this, with again, a marble fireplace, very beautiful, and a mirror. 
out of a fairy tale, it's only logic to conclude that the family was very noble and had a very important role in the society of that time. For sure, for sure. I mean, these are also very detailed. My gosh. And they are dated from 1882. 1882. Unbelievable. Family dates from centuries ago, man. Also 1882. Wow. <laughs> Have a look at this over here. That's so special. It's very, very beautiful again. We keep saying the word beautiful, but this place is definitely sparking my mind. And especially also the stuff left inside. Have a look how detailed it is. This is literally like a flower with the birds which is actually like three-dimensional, made inside. It has all been painted individually. And it was only to hold <laughs> this, this thing. It's actually like sort of a vase, but it's actually like a fruit shell. And then the chair right next to it is also very, very luxurious. And this over here. It's a chest, but there are too many things on top of it, but... Yeah. It was actually standing in the front of it. Have you seen the carved design? Hmm. It's like it's telling something, I don't know. But some code language or something. Yeah, me. Hmm. I really don't know. I want to look inside, but... And don't you think it's also locked? Oh no, it isn't. No, it isn't, but... All right, I'm just going to take a quick glimpse. Well, it's just overfilled with stuff. I but see some vases inside mm -hmm. and I see some garden equipment. So I guess that's uh, that was it. Yeah, we, we do not want to move anything and just no. leave everything the way we found it. So exactly. We just so leave it like this. And then actually right over here is yet another. Wow of these cabinets. What a beautiful secretary desk. And Man, and also the green stuffed inside. What just makes this place so, so strange is Hugo Boss selection. Yeah, some perfume. A private label with Iris. Iris. And Iris and... What's I inside? Hmm. Some like herbs? I don't know if I can open it up, but it's still filled. Okay. Oh. Are these actually some spices? Or what's inside? Well, I can't open it up, but... But? Damn. This even looks like ash. Yeah. Just be Leave very it. respectful with it and, and try to open it. Because if it's trash, we gotta find the owners. And this should be saved. We just want to ensure that nobody would vandalize this or steal this because it's a shame if this would have been left. Oh no, it's no ash. But what is it? I don't know. Wait, just so you know, this is not human ash. It's, uh, I guess. You smell it? No. No, it are like. Very, very tiny stones. Yeah. We thought we were finding ash, but yeah, it's just... We didn't hope stones. finding. No, no, ash absolutely ash. not. So we're pretty, uh, pretty airy. But this painting is also very cool. I don't know what it is exactly. I think those are all old postal signs and from the banks and everything from decades and decades ago. Yes, indeed. All checks, you know, money checks. Yeah, yeah. But then all very, very old ones. So 
guys, we wanted to film this place with daylight, but unfortunately it's dark now and you are probably not able to see us on this shot. But are you ready for the moment of magic? Because we found out. Electricity still works inside of this place. And then you are really questioning yourself, how is that possible in France? Because somebody is still paying the electricity bills. Yeah, I mean, we found some pretty modern stuff inside of this place, but you can definitely tell it has, it has been abandoned for a pretty long time. And we gotta show you the rest of the place, because it's pretty sad actually. Yeah, and then Raymond, let's show them this. This is not the only room with light. No. There's the next one. It's unbelievable. So it's dark now outside, but I think we will not have a problem with the lights as all the lights and the power is still working. So yeah, we're gonna go and show you the rest which we can find inside of the mansion. Let's go for it, bro. Man, another door. Oh, and this was the hallway. Indeed. Oh, there's actually a lot of mess here in the hallway. I guess that was the main door. Don't you think those colors are pretty uncommon? Yeah, I mean, the flower pattern is, yeah, it's pretty uncommon. No, but I mean the, the yellow and the green, like the neon colors. Yes, yes, well... They are pretty you, obvious. Well, I was talking about the pattern of the wall. What do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> and then look on that door over there. It's a mixture between yellow, green, and the flower pattern. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really my style, man. I don't really like it. No, not at all, actually. Well, there's bicycles standing here. And the television is thrown. I think those are some signs of vandalism. Yeah, me too. And have a look, actually, on the painting there on the wall. We cannot reach it any closer, but it's that's the property farm. from the outside. Yeah. Wow. So. Oh, have a look at the doll here. That's pretty creepy, huh? Yeah, it's very creepy, but what's actually beautiful is the staircase going up. I really like it. Indeed. Well, do you first want to go up? <laughs> and when I see the doll? No. <laughs> <laughs> but and let's just try to find a way through here. But first cover the ground floor. Damn, there is a lot of stuff dumped over here. Yeah. Very, very strange. Man, what, what is this? It's like a hoarder or a homeless person lived inside this Yeah, house. it looks like, huh? because this is awful actually, damn. Yeah, it's such a mess and there's also nothing valuable or Beautiful furniture inside, it's literally only a mess. Have a look, I will just quickly show it to you, but to be honest, there is nothing interesting to pan out except for this over here. What is that? It's from 1914 and 1918. Hmm, okay. I don't know. I notice it's a little bit too bright on the camera, so I will show it into more detail. Have a look. I'm really curious, but it definitely looks like it's a very historic artifact yes, and indeed. certificate. Well, I guess that was interesting for this room. Let's uh, walk through. On you go, man. Yeah, because it's very narrow here. It's quite hard to make your way through. Oh, man. Very hard to walk here. And then again, what is this room like? I mean, man, just tables and chairs and everything is stored into boxes. Indeed. So why, where are they trying to move or? Have you seen the fireplace over here? It actually looks very Belgian. Oh yeah. Pretty simple actually compared to the other ones. Yeah. Well, of course we don't want to rush, but at first sight there is a lot of mess. However, here on the ground seem like some very old magazines. Yeah, 1923, and they are still <laughs> in the ropes. You see it? Incredible, man. 
never opened. No, they were never packed out. Oh, what is this? Is this a vault or something? Which one? This one? Oh, no, it's just a cabinet, but it's... Very detailed and very cool. Actually from wood. Wow. And this one also. And you can definitely tell the mold inside, the white mold. Man, I think some of the furniture is very, very antique over here. Yeah. yeah this vanity, man. This must have been from their old ancestors. Of course. I mean, also the pictures on it. Wow. This is incredible, dude. 1831. Man, unbelievable. But why are there so many bicycles inside? I have no clue. Oh, you can definitely tell that these rooms are neglected for a longer time period than only seven years. It's actually very contradictory how the other two rooms were just pristinely left and full of beautiful furniture. And these mm. rooms are actually, yeah, not interesting at all, to be honest. No. At least a few interesting things, but that's all. Hmm. Very, very strange. I think this was so. Oh, this was a storage, man. Well, right now it's definitely a storage. Maybe back in its days, it was not used as a storage. But right now it is. Yeah, well, to be honest, I think only the cabinet over here is pretty interesting. Yeah, with the stained glass. But hmm. no, I can't move this. No, well, so be it, man. It's very creaky also. And everything is widely open. I mean, yeah. there is a window over here, is a door opened. Man, and everything is squeaking. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel safe. Is this the outside? I don't know, wait, let's check. Oh no, it's actually a barn, but we cannot reach it. No. Oh, this is as far as I can go. Well, I hope you can get an imagination of what it looks like, because I barely can see anything. Well, it's literally I can see blocked. It on camera. It's uh, it's pretty okay, but just some barn stuff. Yeah, this thing is quite heavy, and it's blocking the door, yeah. as you can see. And actually, looking at the staircase from a different angle and perspective, it's quite interesting how they made it one day. Yeah, it's like a spiral. Yeah, yeah very spiral. Man, the banister too. You can definitely tell that the property is dated from centuries ago. But that the doll sense. was definitely placed here by people. Yeah, as a setup. I'm, I'm asking myself since when should this be abandoned? That's actually a good question. Uh, and we said at first seven years, but if we look to the state of the other rooms, I think it might have been longer. But why is the electricity? And the power was still transmitting. It's so strange. And also the water. So, yeah. It's a very mysterious property. Yeah, now. indeed, indeed. But oh, so beautiful well, though. Watch out. You're filming me, but. Yeah, I know. There was already stuff uh, on the staircase. Oh man. Actually, it's sad to find out that it's such a mess here on this floor. Well. I'm still curious whether it is human vandalism or just the aftermath of a homeless person sleeping inside which found a way in. And you know the man was Flemish but right over here on the note it's actually written in French. And you heard something? I don't know, when, when, when I walked up here for the first time yeah, I also heard something, so <laughs> let's hope we don't find a homeless person. Yeah. Okay, now, now I'm pretty scared, to be honest. It's also pitch dark outside. It's nighttime now, so... But you know, if, if there is literally someone, you would hear. And I'd... Or maybe he's scared and he's hiding for us. Yeah.
have a look all the ships here maybe they also had something to do with the royal navy yes indeed well i think the family also owns some french chateaus because there's plenty of things of french chateaus and maybe that's the coat of arms over there well let's just enter this room i've not seen the upstairs but have a look this was a bedroom well there are still some beautiful things to be honest man for example the baby bed with the stick oh yeah. my gosh it's really cool huh and different from what you normally find yeah very very different where the fireplace with the heater wow and again a beautiful clock There's also like pictures of dogs everywhere. Yeah, on the I wall. also saw them downstairs indeed. Exactly. I think they definitely love dogs. Maybe they also own them as a pet. What would be inside of the case over here? Mystery. Blankets or gold? No, it's empty. Well, oh, and it's broken too. Indeed. No need to open it anymore. Have you seen the wizard head? Yeah. I was just about to point out. Or the magician, I should say. Oh, well. 20 Avenue, Le Leneurs, and Opera. Well, this is a pretty old one, and I guess this is worth some money. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I think it's definitely being a homeless person and not vandalist or thieves, because otherwise things like this would have been stolen yeah for sure and also the mattresses yeah i think it's enough evidence to conclude that huh an iphone box it's a tree the iphone tree iphone 3 gs i cannot even remember the iphone 3 anymore no. it's a long time ago no, that's a really long time ago all right so let's go on What's this over here? <laughs> it's a product of Apple. It's actually a PC, like a big monitor. I don't even remember PCs like this anymore. No. <laughs> From Apple. And it's also pretty heavy, damn. That's strange, man. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go inside of that room over there. Yeah. But at first glance, it also looks very trashed. But have a look at the roots growing inside of here. Like literally the nature is reclaiming the historic property. Man, that's actually quite fascinating. As we love seeing the DK. But oh my gosh. Well, I think it was definitely a hoarder which found a way in. Or it was the family trying to save all the relics, but I don't think so man what a mess this is just yeah all i gonna show because man what a mess not nice at all no no literally only boxes boxes and boxes yeah it's so strange man i mean downstairs was so beautiful well at least the two big rooms it's so contradictory yeah Well, what I'm also curious about right now is if the light is still transmitting, should it be here? Yeah, I'm curious too. Have you seen some light switches? No, but shine in the hallway. Do you see a light bulb? Well, it is one. I don't know. First glance, the hallway, by the way. Looks quite scary now at this time point. I smell perfume. You smell it too? I smell perfume, man. Really? Yeah. Maybe there is a person. But we have everything on camera. And please, man, protect me because I don't have my hands free. Yeah, I know. If anything happens. Damn, yeah, well, I walked over here, so I'm gonna be honest with you. I walked over here, so if there was someone who tries to attack you, but I didn't go into every room. 
Yeah, exactly. And I was just focusing on the beautiful portrait of the ancestor. Well, why are we so scared? <laughs> I was never scared in a long time in an abandoned place, but at the moment I am. You know, because, because it's such a mess. I'm definitely smelling human. I think it's might be a, a woman. Wow. Bro, this room was their own private chapel. For real? Yeah, but I cannot walk on the floor because it's near to collapse, so I'm gonna be very, very careful. But if you can close the door for me, there's two things locking the door. If you can close it, man, this is absolutely incredible. I definitely was not expecting to find this. So, have a look at this. Incredible. Wow. And in such a state of disrepair. I mean, not only the floor is collapsing, but the wallpaper and everything is peeling off. But this family was definitely of noble origin. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is such a wonderful find on such a threshed floor. Crucifix here too. The rosary. Man, oh, oh, so beautiful. Bonjour. Hello. 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 Quel est ton nom? Hello. Let's see. There is someone looks here. Yeah. So I was talking with Raymond in Dutch. I'm pretty positive that there is a homeless person inside. This is as far as I'm gonna go. I think the person is very scared. Oh man, my heart is racing right now. Well, yeah. This then is just the last room. This, uh... I'm gonna show you. And yeah, let's walk back. My heart is racing right now. Mine too, mine too. I'm shaking all the way. Watch out, my friends. I want to get out of here. At least of this floor. Because on the main floor, nobody will harm us. We will see them coming. And I'm putting off my mask because whoa, I'm so sweaty right now. It was actually very, very scary. We never had a homeless counter encounter on camera before, but... Okay, so when we are filming this, you just saw the last shot and that was literally that we heard like a person inside and yeah, we are very scared, but as well, you saw the upstairs, the chapel was beautiful, but the rest of the rooms were very, very trash. So I think we came to an end point of the video and yeah. definitely showed them the most interesting things inside of course, this beautiful I mean, historic mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the rest of the rooms, they were pretty trash, but the room we are sitting in right now and the room next to this one, that was really beautiful. I mean, that gave, that gave this mansion, Manoir, such such a yeah, special vibe, isn't it? Really, really special, man. This is one of those very historic properties, like I told you, which is passed yeah. on from generation to generation. And eventually got abandoned and neglected. So really sad. Actually. So we were really wondering what happened with the Noble family, which was the owner. But we explored this place with all the respect to them. And we really want to thank them for having us inside. We don't want to thank the, yeah, we are assuming a homeless person inside. But yeah, we are going, he is safe, and we are also not doing any harm to yeah. him or her. It, it, yeah, it was, it was a pretty scary wine. I mean, uh, well, I, I already walked up once, and then I heard something, you know, and I saw all the trash, and I was like, hmm, hmm. Yeah. But I, you know, I just want to 
don't want to go into every room because then I already know how it's looking. I want to keep it as a surprise for myself. But then I walked up with Moreno and I heard the same sound and I was like, what is this? Is this a creaking floor? And yeah, we kept on hearing sounds and sounds the closer we went to the hallway. So we stopped. It was good. It yeah, was good, yeah, exactly. And I think it's also such a long time ago since we had such a scary encounter in yeah, place. Yeah, so... When well, we, are, we were not filming, we had a homeless encounter. We didn't film for YouTube. We only did this like in our free time just yeah. with our phone camera. We had one homeless encounter. And that is pretty scary. So that's the reason why we didn't walk through. I know you want to see it on camera like, oh, they find them. No, it's not funny. We're just we thinking about our safety. And indeed. despite everything, we really hope you enjoyed watching to this episode. And if you did, you know the drill. Leave a like, subscribe and comment down below. And also ring that bell notification button. And as always, we will see you on our next adventure. Peace out. <laughs>